That's twice in one week you've blown me away. <laughs> is really. that, uh, were you just uh, winging it, or is this a uh, uh, composition of yours or somebody? Oh, just uh, just uh, arose in the space with you. So. <laughs> uh, oh well, fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you so much, Teja Bell Roshi. And uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, welcome to this uh, virtual dojo rolling dog and pony show. And uh, really just graced by uh, Tejas uh, playing on the spur of the moment. Uh, Steve, maybe, uh, you know, next week. Give, give me another five years to catch up. <laughs> oh. oh boy. And and Richard, how about you next week? You know, or to play to play some music at the introduction. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean you're on. You're okay. on. Okay, you know, I have to put in the caveat. Tisha stay. Say that for backup. I may be playing next week, but I have no no way of knowing until I won't know until the middle of the week. <laughs> All right. Well, if I'm here, you definitely I'm happy to to you know uh, make Tisha look good. <laughs> we each have our gifts. Each <laughs> That's oh. true. That's true. Well, it's true. Who else is here tonight? Say hello. I saw Amy Shipley, Jack Wada. Hello, everybody. Roy. Elaine's with us. Gina's with us. Alan. 
Diane Daphne, hello. Hello. Hi, Amy, where are you? Sorry, I just, I clicky fingers. What would, what did you ask? I wonder just where are you? I'm at my house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in my office, living room, kitchen space. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, your hybrid workspace. Yes. <laughs> so um, I will blur it so you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We're all expert at how to do that. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> There's... Good evening. Good evening. She Where says, is Nando Sensei? He, Are they having technical? He's, you know, he's making a dramatic entrance. He's waiting right. for the, the crowd <laughs> to get impatient. And I yeah. was going to say on a on a technical note to everybody, because um, I know we have this gap where Bob or, will ask for somebody and it takes so long to get unmuted. Really, all you have to do is press your space bar while you're speaking, if you're on a computer. Oh, OK. All right. So it makes it a little simpler. That. Yeah. And I, I do know that Nado Sensei is looking for dialogue <laughs> and feedback and questions that push him in one direction or another. Uh, you know, tonight's uh, theme, inner to outer, um, is, is, is in many ways a going over ground that we have covered uh, before, like any class, you know, it's what do we, what aspect or nuance or, you know, personal experience is it tied to tonight? And so Nado Sensei kind of needs your reaction in order for him to like find the, the direction to take it tonight. And uh, he always appreciates uh, uh, people who don't normally speak to uh, raise their hand and uh, and chime in in general. Um, and uh, with that, I think uh, we're just about ready. Uh, let me just check. Oop. All right. All right. I think Nato Sensei is uh, joining us uh, momentarily. I'm here. Oh, he's already here. Yes. Good evening, Sensei. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, let's chat for a minute. I was wondering, uh, because I'm thinking I need a break, uh, isn't it time? to do uh, another series of Aikido classes. We did six, seven months ago, that series. Uh, remember we did three Saturdays, I think, with a whole bunch of different people teaching. Uh, is it time to do another one of those? That was a question. Uh, is that a rhetorical question? Or are you asking people to please give, okay, everybody. What does everybody think about that idea? You heard it here first. I heard it here first too. I'll say again, just press your space bar if you want to speak. Well, so Elaine gives thumbs up. Amy gives thumbs up. Linda gives thumbs up. Bob Noah gives thumbs up. Teja is a thumbs up. Mike, Mike in New Zealand's a thumbs up. All right. Okay. The next question would be uh, Justin in New in Florida is a thumbs up. Next question would be uh, the time. Uh, I think last time it was uh, like our our California time. I think it was around three or four p.m. No yes, time, sensei. Late noon. It, it is uh, four to five four p.m. to five thirty on four consecutive Saturdays okay. in March, actually. Off the top, do you think that's uh, appropriate uh, that we stay with that uh, uh, schedule? Um, uh, uh, since you're asking, yes, I do. It, okay. It's the compromise schedule. It allows people from New Zealand to join in. It allows people from the East Coast to join in. When and, is the time uh, change, though? 
we are going to come. I haven't considered that. So New Zealand is actually an hour earlier. So it's actually, I think, Mike, or can, is it easier for you? It's what's, if we were to do. Well, we're, we're our um, time changes. Oh, yes. Soon. And we change in November. in November. We change in early November and we get an hour closer to them again. Yeah, that's correct. But it's, it's, it's certainly darker. And so it feels uh, later, I think is what Amy's getting to that we, so I don't know since they haven't considered the timing, certainly we could adjust it. What is you, what do you have in mind? Oh, may I, I just, just to say we were playing, uh, you know, usually the gosh coups are six months apart. So we'd be looking at October. It's getting a little late for October. We could start in late October and maybe we just want to wait until spring, but Bob, you, you, you know, whatever you think. Well, Richard, you could, instead of the Gashku in spring and autumn, you could go for Kangeko, you know, winter practice. Well, they always did them in winter and summer, so it was the most extreme training. That's why in Marin, we always did them in the spring and the fall, so it was the gentlest. And so since you know, they were into that Shugyo stuff, and we were kind of into getting high. You know? And so, Sensei, uh, uh, do you have a timing yeah. in mind? Well, because I'm going to take off. It's uh, my anniversary. Did Katya leave already? Yeah, she did. No. Uh, what year? 20 what? 20. 20. 20. Wow. And, and when is that, Sensei? Years. When is your anniversary? Anniversary around October 20. 20 on the 20th. So I was, I'm going to take a break there no matter what you all going to do. So I thought then would be if you want to do the Aikido classes, uh, 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 that would be that week would be cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, we'll get right on it. <laughs> wow. I don't know what's going to come out the end of the process, but we'll. <laughs> I, agree, I agree to start looking at the calendar and writing emails. Hmm. Everybody who's on this call, you're, uh, I might be writing to you. <laughs> you know what I uh, saw today um, um, uh, sent to me from Switzerland, Patrick Cassidy in Switzerland, sent me an old uh, tape uh, uh, of me teaching uh, at a summer camp uh, in the Dominican college time. Uh, and uh, let's see, Tija, you were my main UK, okay, followed by Kenny, uh, and Hana was also an UK. Okay. I thought it wasn't a bad flick, it's doing some basic energy move stuff. And it, uh, anyway, he was kind of excited about it or happy about it or something. And so he sent it to me, and I thought, yeah, not bad. So I'm not sure why I'm bringing that up other than there's apparently some good stuff out there in the archives. Uh, Moon, do you remember if you filmed in those days? No, I think it was Flater who filmed in those days. and uh, Flater, probably. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to remember if there was someone else. I, I know he did some and I had kind of, you know, stayed back out of the way because I knew he was trying to do it as a commercial project until finally I realized yeah. we should just go ahead. You know what I mean? I, I remember it's probably clear now that, that his name has come up again. Uh, anyway, good. Uh, it was a good filming. Uh, he had a lot of good equipment at the time, yeah. So, so Sensei, so sensei if, uh, can we uh, uh, share that with uh, everyone? Uh, you're going to ask link. Is it a DVD or is it a, a, a link? Uh, wait, wait a minute. While I read for my pen and paper here, uh, uh, Brad. Could you Brad, take... put the link in the chat. Right. Put, put... So, Sensei, if you send that to Brad, he'll deal with it. Uh, okay, this thing here. Uh, they're asking, I guess, if they can see it. Uh, yeah. That's not a text message. It's email. 
um, USC show it? I think they want to see it now that I've mentioned it. Okay. <laughs> um, you want to run it? And uh, how to tell them how to get it, I guess. How, how do we do that? I said that I can send it forward to Lauren. Katya, you can put it into the chat or you can uh, uh, send it to me and I'll inject, insert it. I think that's the best way to, to, to send it to Lauren. Okay, I'm going to send it to you, Lauren. Very good. And uh, Sensei, were you thinking that for yourself, you'd like a little bit of a longer break? As in, you know, hence why you mentioned the four weeks that, that have been done previously, just to give you a little bit of... I think it was three weekends to get... It, 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 was, it was four weekends, Sensei, but we... Really? Wow. In all honesty, we can make it as many weekends as you'd like. Well, then we're going to have to bump teachers, and you know how they'll get. <laughs> well, They're we can also, you know, we can also run two sections of, you know, an hour each or 90 minutes each on, on two Saturdays. Take yes. a break of a, you know, half an hour, an hour, whatever, all possible. Yeah, so we, we can we can mix it different ways. And so uh, uh, a, a two week break is very reasonable. And uh, I think that as a practical matter, having to, it, it, we probably want to have the first on the 20th and then this, the, the, the second one later. So, but Sensei, let's, let's not figure it out yeah. here online. Uh, yeah. Well, well, everybody's waiting to receive wisdom from you. I thought this was wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, inner outer. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Before we get into inner, outer, no basic here, um, carry over from last week when I think we highlighted the different forms of trading in, the different forms of downtiming, get to a better level, ba, ba, ba. Uh, the clearing, the, uh, I said letting go, didn't I? Uh, okay, you had a lot to play with. There should be, it would be nice if you had something to say about one of those that you played with. Clearing, letting go, dark town, downtime, easy, opening. When I do that motion, it's basically what I'm what I'm playing with, just settling everything, trading it in for hopefully a better level here. Sensei, Linda Eskin here. Yes. San Diego, Linda. Yes. Um, I've done a little playing with the letting go idea. That one sort of resonated with me for where I am and a couple of things in life right now. The the idea that came. The, the image that came to me last week with that was of like locking a door behind me and then going forward into something else. So um, very vague, but just having a sense of it and, and noticing where it shows up has been interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, Brad, you had an interesting one. Let, let's... Brad, going to jump in here? Sure. Uh, so um, there were two of them that kind of resonated with me last week. One was easy. That was the first one we started with. And um, I just had an image of, and it felt like I was in a parachute. I mean, I felt, you know, I was moving down, but I was supported and, you know, just kind of gliding down in a very easy way. Um, I, and I use easy a lot. Uh, kind of that word had some meaning to it. Um, and then we, uh, I, we might have done clearing in something else. Um, it's like, and then we went to uh, uh, letting go. And then for a moment uh, last Friday, I mean, I had a sensation of like terror. Like I was really afraid to let go. I was in this parachute, easy. And now they want to cut the reins and I just kind of free fall. Um, and so that's what I was playing with this week. Um, you know, you want to Kind of face your fears or whatever what, what was that reaction um so i 
relatively speaking, got, got the courage to let go and just um, played with the sensation of being in free fall. Um, and after a while, it just, it, it turned into a, a sense of, of freedom. Um, and it's it just a good technique because sometimes there's things that bother you in the past, there's something that's annoying you, but then I was really using that word, you know, first let go. And over the course of the week, it turned into free. Um, and, it, you know, it, it's not like, how can I say, I mean, there's still responsibility and everything. And I was still having the sense of falling, but I felt over time, this new kind of support, like I'm not falling into this abyss I mean, I mean, I am, but it just felt like there was a little more order. It wasn't so chaotic and scary the first time with it. And so um, I, you know, I think I, for me, I think I hit something. I think it's going to help me moving forward and kind of a new insight, which is pretty cool. So uh, the uh, thing I want to point out is uh, that I usually expect when you dimensionally move into a finer dimension, that some of the early words we use change in the finer dimensions. And I, I'm not surprised when that happens now. It's it uh, historically has held true. So I thought this example of uh, uh, whatever you said there <laughs> uh, was a, a good example where the, the word changed and the experiential sense changed also there, of course. So. You can start with whatever word you want, but it's like the system itself will want to rename it. If I do a bit of a process, I'm hard pressed to call myself Bobby and my system will just reject it. I'm not Bobby, Robert or Nado or what, following that pattern, that the system itself ah, will change the words. And in that change, feeling, experiencing that change, uh, which was Brad was doing a good job with. Uh, yes, that's very, very nice. Yes, you're getting a better sense of things, a truer sense of things. Yeah. Okay. Anybody, anything on trading in? We didn't use that word last week, I don't believe. Not last uh, week. Yeah. But it's a good word, trading in. Uh, letting go, downtime catching the naturalness of those beats. You know, it gets nighttime time to go to sleep. Then you wake up the next day and you're more alive. Okay, or a two minute pause. Wait, I gotta catch my breath. Ah, okay, let's continue running. I feel better now. Uh, so that downtime thing, uh, I'm putting all those words in a downtime thing are very natural. And uh, unfortunately, we, again, historically, uh, it has bad PR, especially the dark down. Uh, what a shame. That's why I ask you to uh, hang out with it and take an approach that it's uh, those beats, whether it's a trading in or a letting go, uh, have a nicer flavor about themselves. And that might pick the pace up. So Brad caught on to it just by playing with it, that it got nicer and easier and all of that. Uh, so maybe to have a sense with those words of the nicer sense of trading in or letting go or down dark time or whatever. Are we okay there? Sort of kind of maybe anybody, anything? All right, Sensei, this is Justin in Miami. I, uh, I've i been working um, quite a bit with settling, um, settling and opening. And one thing very positive that I've, I've noticed as I felt uh, more and more of a down, a settling down, is that there's a, there's a nice quality of still, um, quiet, a very still, quiet. Um, it's quite lovely. Yeah, nice uh, therapy, nice uh, yeah, for sorry. a jangled system. It's a nice thing to experience. Okay. It is. It's a, it's a dark, but not a scary. It's a dark, but it's very quiet, peaceful, still. Uh, it's a nurturing kind of dark. 
like a meditator who is in a cave. It's not a scary cave. It's a, it's a dark that offers a kind of a um, peaceful reference point of still quiet at a certain level. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, maybe I was talking to somebody about it, but there was one, when I used to do past life things a bit, uh, there was one uh, past life that I bumped into, uh, uh, Northern China, maybe Tibet, uh, but where we sat in these alcoves in the rock. So there were our own personal caves, but we faced in towards the cave, not cave and look, looking out. It was the other way around where you faced the rock there. Uh, so just you and this black rock right there. Uh, for some reason that comes to me as you, as you say this. Anyway. Ah. Uh, we okay, people? Okay, I like, I got the three layer cake out here. I, I really like, I wish I could diagram it better, but you all understand the three layer cake here. Again, remember I changed those sensei's pattern uh, uh, to matter dimension or world, and then to an energy dimension level world. Now, oh, since they took both of those and said, well, they're all energy, and then there'll be the hidden, what we're calling the domain of. Uh, but I thought because my experience with people was they were kind of attuned to what physical was. I heard it, I felt it, well, uh, but the energy, a lot of people get very vague there. What's energy in it? Are you feeling energy? I don't know what I'm feeling kind of thing, uh, that that was, unfortunately, a little too sensitive energy realms for some people. So I, I did, so I'm doing a heavier physical, which is energy, of course, and then finer energy dimensions. And so those two are what Osensei would have called one, okay? And I might continue to do that if we ever add a fourth layer to this cake. <laughs> oh God. Okay, the, it's really kind of nice that in the, in the manifest creation, uh, how much is available to us? Uh, um, we've got, if you're lacking energy, ah, and you can tap more energy, inner, boom and you've got more energy. You were a 10 pounder, you did some kind of trade in or downtime and you hit another level and, and boom, you're a 20 pounder. Ah, Bobby trades in and there's the energies that make up a Robert who's a little more squared away, a little sharper than Bobby. Bobby could be a wimp, he's a Pisces, what, what can I say? Uh, uh, but there's a, a Robert there, he's the one that can train. Boom, into a nato eventually, da -da -da -da. following that pattern. Uh, so this, the things that are available to us, even in the manifest, uh, how, how nice that is, how, how nice that it's there and it's available, it's like, you all got something. You all got a treasure chest of some kind. And there, it's multi-leveled. Okay. Inner. Boom. It's the next outer. How, how nice that it's there. How nice the way it works. But <laughs> No kickback on that. Hmm. Is Tom on tonight? I'm just thinking about Tom's da 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 da, and he has this feeling of home, a real so, experience. Sorry, so he's he's not with us tonight. Not with us tonight. I'll I'll take the stage for him. He does a couple of dimensions, easy, doo -doo -doo, boom. Then he gets this feeling of being at 
home and there's an experience there. The peacefulness of being at home, the pleasantness of being at home, the safety of being at home. Oh, thank God it's nice to be home. That this is an inner experience. So for him, home is just there. He can get to it anytime he wants. It's just there. Okay. Uh, that, that really caught my attention in my early, early days uh, that these nice energy qualities, whatever I would bump into, they were just there, okay? I told you this before. So I used to play games and, and screw up. I'd go out further. I'd get drunk. And then I'd come back and sit. And I had a particular uh, place in, in, uh, in mine or that was easy for me. And I'd see because I spun out far and got drunk, how long it would take me to get back to this nice place. And I found, lo and behold, a nice place was always there. It took me longer because I had gone out further by going, being drunk. But it was there. It was in its same place. It hadn't moved away from me. I had moved out further away from it. But it was always in the same place. And that really wowed me. Not only is it there, but it's a consistent there. Okay. Uh, it's a guaranteed there. It's a dependable there kind of thing. Okay. I thought that was fantastic. And you all got something. You all got something. Okay. So we're just going to learn a few tricks of how to settle or trade in or let go to get to a certain level where your treasures will begin to show. Okay. Some of you will be at ease. Some of you will be at home. Some of you will feel more vibrant and alive. Some of you will be more aware and caring or whatever. You all got something. Okay, and the early ones are just the early ones. If you continue, there's more. Go deeper, there's more. You're on a roll. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's important here? Not just being aware. Again, I, I can't overemphasize that. The... Um, now, let me stand and see if it helps me any. Bring the camera here. Yes. Oh. Okay. A three-layer cake. Uh, I, I love the way on Sensei utilized. Let's place him on top of this three-layer cake. And he referred to himself as this old man. And that, that really seemed to amuse him. And he'd say, see what this old man can do. And then he, he had a fast form of going through the three layers. And in the case, I'd say four, four layers. We'll let that go for a while. But zoom, and suddenly, boom, there's Ueshiba Vaikyo. This, this, this flavor is there. This capability is there. But he, he really enjoyed presenting himself first as this old man. And showing people, certainly trying to show them, ah, his process, his process to Ueshiba Vaikino. Okay? So what's important? So we slow it down a bit, but do keep in mind fast that that speed is available. Okay? And I, I have to warn you, it's not just an idea. Zhush, I'm there. And you have this idea about it. Uh, yeah, it's fast, but let's not forget the basics. And one of the basics is uh, experience at this level. So there's a three-layer cake. Heavier vibrations matter, body matter. I trade that one in, next level. Ah, and at that level, ah, more energy is available. Ah. Okay, I feel a little straighter, a, a little stronger, just a little feeling of stronger through here. 
straighter. My spine is trying, trying to straighten a bit more. A little bit fuller, a little bit more energy here and a tad here, a little more. Oh, a little bit more. So that was just a quick trade in to another dimension of energy. And here I am. And I experience myself. Experiencing myself, I'll be aware of myself, aware of myself. I'm experiencing myself. This word experience is damned important. If you just have an idea about it, it doesn't seem to have lasting power. And if somebody like were to bug you, uh, it doesn't seem to be able to have the mass, bad word, the presence of an actual something. Uh, so the idea of something is not good enough, okay? It's a piece, yes. The idea of it, the experience of it. Both of those mix me up. Experiencing, I am aware. Aware, I experience. Throughout the whole thing, that's critical, okay? And I'll keep bringing that up, sure as hell. Okay. First layer cake, energies, but more physical, 10 pounder to a 20 pounder, Bobby to a Robert. Now, as I continue, it's a second layer where the energies are finer, okay? And at this level, finer energies, and I notice already the body is this movement. I'm not telling it to do this movement. This is, this is what it's doing. <laughs> it's doing this looser flowing thing. This is what's happening here because I'm experiencing that level and experiencing I am aware. Oh, things move. Oh, water over rocks on a, a creek. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, oh yeah, bamboo as opposed to an oak tree. Oh yeah, all those things make sense to me. I'm sort of aware of all of those at this level of experience. Okay, and then we would just continue. Finer dimensions. Deeper. Trading everything before into the next finer dimensions. Okay, easy. Ah. My head sort of jumped in. I don't know. Okay, remember it's a percentage game. Finer dimensions, easy, easy. Deeper, finer dimensions. Okay, here's where it's flowing now. It's and here is where it would, if I were into horses, me and the horse would have a relationship. Riding the horse, I'd feel like I'm part of the horse. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not a horse person. I get all movements. Oh, here's where I'd want to do a technique where body blending with another body. That all feels very natural here. Okay, so a finer dimension of energy mixes up a character who deals with his world a certain way. I blend with, I flow with. Those words are coming up natural out of this experience. Ah, ah, ah. So right here, I say something uh, to people about, uh, we're like a flow of water, and they're a flow of water, and the two flow into one river. It, that's just coming out of here. It's natural for me to say that because I'm ex sort of experiencing that. I feel that. So that's where my stories come from. Roy is always asking, where do you come up with the stories? <laughs> experiencing stories bubble up. Examples bubble up. They're, they're just here. Okay. Now where we're heading is through... Uh, my form two layer cake as it gets finer and finer you get to drop out uh because we were wound up in the heaviers 
and you get to unwind and the self that's here because we're unwinding the inner self, the truer self, not Bobby, but the self that's there gets to become aware at this level of the domain, self in the domain. Remember to continue that experience, self feeling its own aliveness, my word, in the domain, in the domain, self experiencing itself. Okay? All right? So be careful in the domain, you know, just go to awareness about it. Uh, it's not going to be good enough, people. This, this dual aware experience, mind, body, uh, feeling awareness, whatever words. Okay, I love the three layer cake. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Inner should naturally manifest outer. Okay. There's the idea of something inner. Do not forget the experience of that. Now, you got to double check because it's tricky, this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm aware of experiencing. I got it. And he has an experience. He's knowing about experience, which is not the experience. That's why we do dumb stuff like push your arm and uh, lift you. Do that one and push on your hips and stuff just to make sure you're heading in the right direction and you're, for lack of word, doing it properly. Okay, so uh, watch out for the awareness. For a lot of people, that's been your major and you're a little short on experience. For those people who are great with experience, uh, you can double check the awareness. We'll, <clears throat> we do that with the center to the circle and circle to the center. They want to get both after a while. Uh, remember, I'm a center type, so it's taken me a bit to catch up with the circle, how the, what the circle has to offer. Other people come at it the, uh, from circle. Uh, both are okay. Uh, both are limited a certain way. Or at a certain sound... What? I'm at sorry, a certain so like we're okay. At a certain point, you can you can go further, should go further, could I say? Uh, so you want to get both of them. Both of them. I told you the, what I thought was a humorous story with Osensei being a major on center body type. Remember, he built up a hell of a body. And eventually the, the, the circle started to show as uh, loving compassion. Uh, my word, it discombobulated the hell out of him to make of that. And it really threw his center warrior kind of thing off for a bit before he could figure it out that, oh, there's this and this and both of them together now here I am, and now Ueshiba's changing, okay? He's going from pre-war Aikido to after the war Aikido. A lot of people knew there was a difference. They saw it, they felt it. And they stupidly said his pre-war Aikido was better. And he'd laugh at that. I think they're not too bright. Because having the, the balance of two he was on a much better level of himself. Did I stray off too far there? Help, help. Sensei, this is Lauren. And yes, uh, 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 I, I heard in Japan that the change between pre-war and post-war was very significant and that the post-war training was much more difficult because it was much more key-based. It was much more about awareness and this balance that you've described. And uh, 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 a lot of the, you know, 
sheer mechanic physicality of it was was re-emphasized around uh, this energy training that you've described. So I heard that I heard that too. Yeah, no, it's common knowledge. It's uh, any of the old timers would have said that, knew that, heard about it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, inner to outer. Ah. Oh. So any kind of trading in or letting go, because if you're hanging on, if Bobby's really hanging on to Bobby and Bobby's world, uh, the inner plus, plus, plus can't really show because I'm not there. If you tell me about it and I think about it for a moment, it doesn't fit what I feel and see. So I don't think so. Or I'll try it for a moment. Nope, nothing happened. That's bullshit. That's a fairy tale. That's your religious belief. Uh, so there has to be some type of letting go, some type of easy, easy from what you believe, easy from how you would like it to be. So I'll tell you one of my early ones. What was it? <laughs> I sort of knew. Uh, so when I started to sit and go a bit deeper and stuff, um, there's a little fear in letting go because I sort of I like everyone else I could come up with ideas of what is better and I, I learned how to say something like oh I've got my ideas about this but how, how does the universe work how does it work Okay, and I was a little afraid at first, a little bit like uh, Brad's letting go. Uh, Jesus, I'm going to free fall here. God knows where I'm going to end up. Ah. Ah. But I didn't want to make up my copy of how the universe worked. I wanted the universe to show me, if you would, how it worked. But I didn't have that little fear there. And I... I, I uh, caught it, I utilized it, uh, uh, not my will, but yours kind of thing. It's kind of Christian, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let it show how it works. Because if it was laid out perfectly, and that's what we hear, right? Perfect creation, uh, then it should be okay, all right? And we do a little practices, I trade Bobby in or the 10 pounder, and there's a 20 pounder there and I feel better and I function a bit better. Whoa, I, I trade in a 20 pounder and I'm a 30 pounder. Whoa, I'm even better. Ah, and people are starting to notice me. I kind of glow a bit. <laughs> uh, I've got, I'm on a roll. Why, why would I think it would suddenly turn horrible? It worked, it worked, it worked. It's after a bit, I, I don't question it. Ah, what's the next level of it working? Okay, and at first I may not be clear. So I hit it again and again till it clarifies. If I think there's a piece of my system that's interfering with the clarity, I try to let go of it. Let it be and let it show. Okay, so what's trust? Is that the good word there? I, I trust the system. I trust how it works. I trust that you all have enough experience in your first couple of basics that you should agree with me. Can I say? <laughs> you settled a bit and your EQ got better. Now, either you're going to be a little eh, I think, well, no, I, my ego got better because I did it 150 times. And I say, no, no, that was that. Notice you settled and it got better. And if you don't notice what really went on, then you may misconstrue it. And think, no, because I did more of that. Now you should do more of that. Okay. And that's where the heavies will say, keep training. 
but sometimes I think they mean keep training this. And I think, what are you, an animal? <laughs> keep training inner work so the finer of things can begin to show. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I need a break. Somebody say something. Inner to outer, three layer cake. Jense? You? Hi, it's Ariana. Hi. Um, so I have a new level today. Um, you spoke a couple of weeks about um, that we stay at certain places and not go all the way. Is that right? Of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. So at that time, it was like kind of very much out of my reach. But today, I uh, sense a little bit more. Kind of like it's kind of like filling just filling out a form is not enough, or just continue is not quite helping. So I. You said like you then asked the universe how it wanted to express. So I, it works. I don't know if the word, if I could ask for a better result instead of just going, okay, it's just another day. Yeah, different forms. Uh, I think I've done this one. Uh, if I were a better person, who would I be? Not just let me think about that. What would I feel? And then I'll, I'll know. But I'm really into that. What would I feel if I were a better person? And I'm feeling right now, just playing Eric. Uh, I'm feeling more relaxed. And again, if I were a better person, there was more there, but that's all I could get in that one. If I were a better person, what would I experience as a better person? Much calmer. I feel centered uh, and I'm trying to see how it sees other people in the world. Uh, not so judgmental. Yes, that there was the word I got today, judgment. Uh, so there's multiple forms to do this, all kinds of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one I really liked, I used this for years off and on, uh, being the meditating monk, okay? And I'd play a game of, uh, okay, now I've been at the monastery for uh, five years. I'm not the new monk anymore. Now, after five years, who am I as the monk in the monastery? What am I experiencing? Okay, and then I'd continue. Then I'd be the, the uh, one of the older guys, uh, called the older guys at the monastery. Uh, and I'd move into that level. Okay. And on a good day, I'd even say, okay, now I'm the head monk. <laughs> What's my experience? What is known here and stuff like that? No, I use those. They really help me move faster. Yeah. Is that, did I say that? Okay. Yeah. What I experience when I <laughs> shift to another level, um, I could easily go all the way to the old age and not shift my worthiness. Not shift it, your... I feel like I have to shift the level of worthiness, the word worthiness. Oh, being worthy of. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, okay, I, I wouldn't get too heavy there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, let me be the person who is worthy of the level they're at. You see, that sort of should be a harmony there. <laughs> that uh, that works for me. Let me be the person that is worthy at this level versus better. Anyway, it's just a word game, but sometimes you're not worthy. I think you're still hanging on to an earlier identity, right? Who's controlling this and saying, "Well, you're not worthy of that." Right. Well, bang, screw you, kind of thing. <laughs> This level, if it's at that level, is experiencing it. Therefore, it's at that level. It is worthy. Now it should hang out there and soak. 
Ah, and and uh, uh, yeah, uh, get fuller with that quality or energy vibe or whatever you want to call it there, and experience it. Yeah, yeah, and that's where for me that comes in a little bit that fear. So when I soak, there's a little bit of a little tiny transition. Who will I be when I soak yeah. all the way? Yeah. It almost wants to hold me back in that less place than yeah. the common. Um, yeah. So I, <laughs> I often mention this. Bobby is afraid to let go to Robert because Bobby at first isn't sure what Robert's about. And Bobby wants to control. That's, of course. <laughs> and Bobby doesn't really understand Robert. You may have heard or read a few previews where Robert will be a nicer person or a better athlete or something, but I don't know that. Someplace I got to do it. I got to trust. I got to play the game or stay at your Bobby. <laughs> Go ye Bobby your life away. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. Um, I, I deal with, with clients and um, what I'm seeing now is, let's say they're at the Bobby level in their version, then let's say they have a symptom like high blood pressure or whatever, it doesn't matter. And so the body is already saying, get out of the Bobby state, but it's still in and out. Yeah. So high blood pressure. What, what do you mean by get out of the body? Um, so then some people, instead of going finer and deeper, they'll just just leave the, the, the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why the three-layer cake or the inner to the outer is so damned important. See, that's what me and Susan, are you on tonight? She's still on the road. Don't see her. Sorry, I'm here, Sensei. She's here, Sensei. She's here. Yes. Only pick on only voice. <laughs> uh, basically, you. me and Susan are playing with. Uh, can we dialogue with uh, with selves, not the person, selves, and have the self align better with their person? We're calling the man of the heavier manifest stuff have the inner self line up better with the person and get a healing result because of this presence manifesting outward. That's what we've been playing with and, and uh, researching that, seeing if we're getting feedback from her patients, clients. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you, Ariane. Yeah, thank you. That was very helpful. I like the word healing result. Yeah. Thank I you. A chance for you to jump in. Are you are you keeping your stuff secret or did you want to share as we say? She did she close down her machine, Gina. She's here, Sensei, just a moment. She's muted. Please unmute, Gina. Okay. I was asking if you wanted to keep your stuff, your stuff, or if you wanted to share with the group. <laughs> share that I am... Uh, letting go really drops me into Big Dark much faster, I'll tell you that. and. Big Dark launches me into the domain when I sit there long enough because I've been doing it a long time and we kind of like each other. <laughs> the dark. Likes the dark, if you remember she said that. Yeah. The dark. So. so I had a health issue and it is um, seems to be getting better as I hang out with self. Is this what you want me to say? You want me to tell? I don't know. <laughs> if you want to mention. So 
uh, Gino's playing uh, with this inner self being more present with her person who's medically a little uh, and she went to get examined uh, for a particular problem uh, by the doctor and the doctor was all excited and jumping up and down clapping his hands tell us about it Jean, not me you well when we saw the pictures of the inner workings of my mind here he was astounded and just had no explanation for it and said that he wished he could take credit and he was just he goes whatever you're doing keep doing it because it isn't me <laughs> so he knew it was a magic kind of thing okay I don't know if he's not a very magic guy, but <laughs> anyway, but he couldn't take credit for it. He knew that it was at least honest of him. <laughs> because in the past, I have said to him, "Well, it must be my meditations," and he goes, "Ah, eh, yeah, right. Go yeah. well, keep doing it, keep doing it." And this time, it was astounding. The pictures were so dramatic that I had to send them to Sensei for it to show him. Yeah, very dramatic change. Uh, yes. So anyway, she's one of our early practice cases. <laughs> And it's working. Keep going. <laughs> so we had our first big yes. Yes. Oh, it's really big. It was a really big yes. We're, we're, we're new at this self radiating, manifesting, emanating, oh, sensei's word, emanating through the uh, uh, manifest person, the energy body, physical body. And we're thinking even their uh, world they're in should also be touched by that. But we're, we're new at this. But why I'm excited about the domain are, are these kinds of possibilities. Uh, uh, and that I haven't the focus, the variety of possibilities. Uh, we'll just have to get more people playing here. It, uh, experiencing that level and we'll see by your stories of things happening uh, uh it's just it's a wide open field right now okay so it really Gina, got me out of wondering before that i was always wondering am i doing this right am i there you know what but this was a real you know pictures to prove it <laughs> reinforce it made me hang met, out in the trust you. Oh, much more. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And the pictures were so vividly different from the before and now time. Anyway, yes, great. Uh, so. Thank you, Gina. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, for photo forwarding. <laughs> hmm. So remember, when I keel over and you say, well, why didn't he do this inner kind of thing? I'm a mapper. I don't know if I have time to be healthier. Not particularly my main interest. But you could live a little bit longer. What? It doesn't excite me that much. You know. So anyway, don't use your rules to look at other people how they. Why did O Sensei died? He shouldn't have died. Yeah, it's an old man who's getting a little bored with it all. Time to go. <laughs> you know? But no, if you're spiritual work, you ought to live to be 123 years old. Come on, people. Don't make up rules for other people. Okay. You know not what you speak of. Ah. Okay. Oh. Anything. Three-layer cake. Uh, inner to the outer. In a week. Say, this is uh, Tija. Tija, yes, sir. Tija. So here's an observation in my own experience related to uh, the theme tonight of moving uh, inner to outer or that movement inner to outer. Um, so a couple points that I would highlight here on your map. So once we've done at least that initial process of um, what we were talking about, I think the language tonight is moving from the Bobby to the Robert to the Nado to the Sensei. 
once you have done that one by to a two by yeah. aspect, then the inner to the outer uh, is really complemented by the word that you used and one that I really like, which is trust. Mm -hmm. But the trust helps to create a certain transparency from the settling and the soaking from the inside to let it manifest towards the outside because it's not just a physical radiance, although it, it certainly can be, but it's a manifest radiance from the potential that is there in that two by three by, uh, if it is transparent with the trust in that new uh, level, it's a re it's really a thing of beauty, actually. Because yeah. it's, it's so easy, yeah. You know what might be critical there is again this sense of the experience. Absolutely. Let's say you're uh, living in a one by one, ah, mm -hmm. and you trade in. You move into a two by two, yeah. okay? That if you hang out there for a little bit, you know, I don't know, for me, I would just beat my beats there <laughs> sure. and feel, experience that level, feel, feel the two by two mix, the two by two set, the body that exists in a two by two, feel, feel, feel then it's pretty damn definite. So I don't have any question once I have that level of, of yes, it's working now. How do I, I can tell by the way my arm moved out. I can feel it. Not an idea I read about. This is an actual. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So the feeling, the experience, come up with your own word there of that feeling itself. Of course, it's gonna be aware of itself, but let's catch up on the it's feeling itself. That really has a something. I think that's critical again. It is critical. And that, that sense of, um, I, I think maybe uh, uh, Gina and Arian uh, referenced it, that there, there can sometimes be that little the shadow of the uh, of the one by, even though you're more settled in the two by, there's that little voice or something, and as we as we soak in it, then the transparency through the trust allows the expression of that of that new place that we're at to radiate out and to manifest out to uh, actually be functional and. I forget who what, who it was that said results, but that's where the results come, and they come rather effortlessly too. It's not like you're trying to do them; they're a product of that new two by two or three by that you've allowed the transparency to open into manifestation. It's not a new presentation, even in your early stages of being sort of centered. When you learned a little bit about centering, you had enough feeling about being centered where you knew within reason you could retain your center against somebody holding their hand up and you could walk through it. You didn't say, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, that would tell you you, didn't, you weren't centered very well at all. But once you had a certain center, it'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. If he doesn't screw me over and throw his shoulders and step in front of me, I'm going to walk through this. Oh, yeah, this is from this experience. Oh, yeah. So you've had very early experience here. This is not a new presentation kind of thing, yeah? True that, true, absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> not a new presentation. Yeah. Uh, something else that's probably worth bringing up. Uh, uh, one thing I've been playing a, a bit uh, to fine tune things is this, uh, okay, uh, through the manifest, self, self, self self in the domain okay easy to say but i sort of know i still have wrappings from the manifest remember in the heavy manifest i'm wrapped up pretty tight i'm in a one by one and i'm bob and no, i'm worse than bobby i'm a weird bobby you dangerous son of a bitch here crazy we unwind we ah whether we settle through that chant through that, whatever form, trade into a finer through that. 
So even as I play with self in the domain, I still have a bit of a flavor, or I want to double check, that I still have some threads around me. So I hit it again, self in the domain, with a sense of less and less threads. And with a suspicion, I don't want to tell it what to do, but a suspicion that self is going to feel know, brighter, clearer. I have a lot of clear glass in my system, whatever that means. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me that self is uh, opaque. Is that the right word? No, it's not clear, is it? Transparent is the word that I was using. Tra transparency, some, some yeah. Transparency there. Yeah, it would, that wouldn't surprise me. I'm not going to say it has to be that because I don't want to tell the system how to work. But it wouldn't surprise me if my sense of self was much more transparent there. Feeling itself transparent, aware of itself transparent in the domain it's in. That transparency would be like a transparent body, although not only body so much, but a somebody, somebody's there. Okay, the continuation of whoever Nado's name is at this level. Somebody's there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I don't mind hitting things over and over again to clean them up a bit. Yeah. I mean, uh, difference between a blue belt and a brown belt. The brown belt's techniques ought to look a little smoother than the blue belt. Well, basic, right? A little smoother. Yeah. Or the brown belt. Am I ready for a black belt yet? And it's like a little ass raggedy there. You got to clean up a little bit. <laughs> get to a better level where it naturally flows more or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, that's just something I've been playing with on uh, getting better at being in the domain, seeing, seeing how things work. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Great. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Where are we? Inner? to outer, the big one being inner self to the domain is being whoa, pretty, pretty big time. Not the total finish, and we won't go any further than that, but just to be there, I don't know what to say, properly present, properly positioned, uh, properly experiencing, we're going to need all these things if there is a continuation. Okay. So, uh, but if I talk, talking about continuation, okay, somebody will want to skip this and, oh, yes, heavenly. You said heavenly. Yes, hev hev heavenly. It's like, screw you. This is an important piece, this first returner's domain the returning self in the returner's domain. I'm sorry you heard the word heavenly. <laughs> I'm sorry you heard it. Because now there's a tendency for too many to skip this and, and reach for that. And you'll screw it up. I'm sorry, you will screw it up. You'll spin back out. You're idea about it, or even if you get a quick vision about it, is not good enough. You'll get spun back out. Sorry, it's the rules. Okay. So hold whatever we're calling body, whatever we're calling character, whatever we're calling in that self, uh, and it's experiencing itself. Uh, that, I don't know what to call it there, balance? positioning, don't lose that. Don't suddenly go, whoa, look at that, hey. It'll spin you out, man. Hard to tell you that because what you see is pretty fancy. You're gonna get spun out. I told you, if you don't believe me, fine. <laughs> You're free to do what the hell ever you wanna do.
Eating up time, people. Anything? We have some intelligent people out there. Let's hear something. Semi-intelligent. I'll give you a break. Semi-intelligent. Uh, Sensei, on that note, um, I, uh, I want to pick up on what you said here about the world we're in um, giving us a kind of feedback, um, having sensations and feelings that, that come from being finding ourselves maybe in a, a tighter space, um, we have discomfort or pain or whatever, um, or the need to take a day off or something of that nature. Um, and, and how important it can be to catch on to that kind of thing sooner. Um, you know, not, not wait until you, you're about to have the mental breakdown. That's too, too yeah. late oh, to yeah. manage by crisis. Try to catch on to that feedback that's coming in sooner when it's easier to mitigate yeah uh, let me jump in for a second uh yeah and i did maybe eight months ago or something a friday night where i mentioned uh trying to get you might have been the night we did the wind tunnel so people would begin to feel the first soft touches of an energy uh, so that you know when there's activity in your system, not till it, not to the point where you crack up, but you start to feel the early murmurings of it. And you go, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Give me a moment. Well, I settle and open and let me feel what you have to say. Uh, knowing that any murmurings are the next plus. Ah, which they may not look like at first. You just learn to play the game. What are you really saying? That's one of my tricks. Sounds like it's saying, screw you, Bobby or Robert or Nando. Oh, that's what I heard. But what are you really saying? I want to hear the finer dimension of where that's coming from. That's where I learned a lot of my games. <laughs> but to, yes, to to get people to be more sensitive don't know if that's the right word but to be a little more aware um i know aware if your shoulders are starting to come up a bit that was one of my old ones i realized i was a shoulder guy okay and i realized that wasn't quite right so i practiced dropping my shoulders i'd sit in the police car and kick my shoulders back and settle down <laughs> i remember doing that Ah, but in doing that, then I got to the point where I could feel them beginning to come up and I could stop it or change settling and opening or whatever words I was using in those days. We're talking about the late fifties here, <laughs> the dark ages. Uh, so, so yeah, it's a little trick if people are more would recognize energy movement. Uh, earlier, you, you're right. Uh, could save them something or other. Yeah, but you wait, you wait, you wait. Some of that energy, some of those energies can get quite strong and compress you. I mean, weird Bobby exists. I bring him up because I know him. It's tight and it's crazy. I don't want to go back there again. It was crazy. <laughs> so any pushes, uh, I recognize them as often as I can, deal with them as best as I can, because uh, I really don't want to be pushed, 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 and they'd be ignoring them and end up in weird Bobby. Ooh, I don't want to go that far. I might allow a pissed off Bobby, <laughs> but that's it. I guess I'm drawing the line. You can't go past that too far, okay? may punch you, but I won't shoot you. How about that? <laughs> I've got to draw the line someplace here. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that's part of it too, for people to know, what, what should we call that? Uh, uh, Noah, help me here. Uh, energy's moving around, but that's part of the, the system we're, we're in here. 
That means energy is moving around. It created this body. Finer levels, energies are moving around, uh, uh, trying to do something. So, so I don't know, help me here, Bob. Uh, uh, being having a sense that that's okay. That's how it works. Once you've had some successful practices with the pattern and recognized exactly what you just said, that energy is moving around means there's an opportunity for growth rather than that you're going backwards or going crazy or getting upset or whatever. Yeah. Recognize what that is. It's an opportunity for growth. And it's easy to take seemingly bitchy energies and play the game I was talking about earlier, where I say, I, I play the say what game. So I hear bitching and I maybe sense feel a bit bitching. I go, say what? Meaning at a finer level, what are you really? And a finer level, what are you really? You do, a, uh, as Bob said, some practice with things like that. Uh, so I don't have any doubt that whatever hits me has a finer source. I don't know if I said it right. You want to add to that or clarify well, that? If you forget for a moment and start down the wrong track, if you remember the pattern that you've worked with successfully before, you can get it back quickly rather than going down a rabbit hole and really having to struggle. How are we doing, people? My clock says we're approaching. I got no place special, so I'm okay here for a bit. Anything, anything, anything before we finish up? Hi, Sensei, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I'd like to um, share an experience um, when talking about when you think you're having the experience versus actually having the experience. Um, and it wasn't me that was actually having this process, but it had a profound effect on me. It was when uh, my wife was um, in, in labor for our first child and it was a long labor. And the midwives had said, you'll know when you want to push. And time after time, she said, oh, it's now, now I need to push. And they say, no, 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 no. And in the end, she pushed prematurely, but it still felt like it was, she thought, she thought it felt like it was the right time. Mm -hmm. Come round to our second child, and she knew. She knew when to push. It is. Like it was, there was no question. It, this was the experience, and it was completely different from the first time. Yeah. And uh, I was there with her, and so I was able to kind of ride along on that experience. But that was quite a profound understanding of the difference of, between thinking you're experiencing something and actually experiencing it. Yeah. And if you're at a better level, uh, you should naturally pick up a better timing. Bobby won't time well. Robert will time a bit better. Not though, better again. So that's also that part of it, yeah. So not, yes, yeah. And there's practice I should do on the mat. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, where I'd have people feel a wave building. What movement did I do that with? Brad, are you aware of one of And feel a wave. And I'd say something like, oh, I pass on the smaller waves as if I'm a surfer on Kauai. And, uh, uh, and wait, oh, here's a big wave. Now I'll move. I don't remember. Anyway, but I, I, I know many times I laid out that storyline in class. I just don't remember what move I was doing. Not that the move probably matters, but just uh, having people. Sensei, I remember it as a, a Ushiro Katate Tori, you know, Kokyunage kind of thing. From grabbed from behind, waiting for the wave from the back, feeling the waves coming from the back. Anyway, I just that you can feel the difference even if you think you're make believing this game but i could feel the difference if there are minor waves i'm not going to paddle out on a minor wave 
Good surfers don't do that, do they? <laughs> Wait for a big roaring wave and then I'd make my move. So you could tell, you could feel, you could even hear, uh, sense the size of the wave. Yeah, so yeah, might, yeah. And the more settled you are, the easier it is to do things like this. They're not magic. They're just at a certain level. That's, of course, kind of thing. Uh, ah. Are we finishing up? I think we are, Sensei. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, thank you for everybody. And uh, we'll... Uh, uh, figure out a schedule to uh, for your uh, 20th anniversary schedule, and yeah. we'll let everybody know by email just as soon as possible. And Lauren, yes, sir. I, I don't know if everyone was on. We were talking about uh, taking a couple of week break, whatever, from Friday nights, but uh, it may be time to bring back the Aikido class, maybe Saturday afternoon. Uh, We'll, we'll look into it and get back to everybody just as soon as we can. Okay, just want to let them know we're talking about it. Uh, right. So, Sensei, thank you very much. And thank you, everybody. And good evening. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Sensei. Have a great night. Thanks, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Paul. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Sensei. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Sensei. Good night, Mike. <laughs> Good night to you. And thanks for all your work, sir. Much appreciated. Good night, everyone. And we are over and out.